Welcome back. It is January the 30th. Uh, I'm going to be talking to Michael Eckford in this segment. And uh, Michael, you ran in, well, let's, you want to start talking about media. So let's talk with media, uh, or you can start wherever you want. Okay, I'll start wherever I want. Um, I'm, I'm quite a quiet person, actually. Uh, I'm an introvert. I like to call myself an introvert with an occasionally loud voice. Um, and uh, flashback to uh, this past spring, I'm living in my apartment at, at uh, Quadra and North Park, and it's noisier than heck. I've got my windows open, and the choppers are going by, and the muscle cars, and the dirt bikes, and uh, I can't hear birds, uh, and I say to myself, self, I'm so done with this. Let's start the quiet party. We need quieter discourse in our art, in our culture, uh, like the guest you just had on, uh, at least as we are taping this, uh, I think we're very much on the same wavelength. And when I heard the name The Quiet Party, yes. I was attracted to it right away because I think, uh, you know, they say silence is golden, and it is. I think human beings need peace and quiet within which to live. Everything interdepends, Jack, because every word interdepends on every other word. That is to say, everything depends on context. Now, I think I'll break up this uh, kind of quiet, solemn atmosphere with a little, a little joke which we can edit out if it doesn't work. So my latest, I've, I've, I've started writing jokes in the last few years. Oh, for those of you who, who know me wearing my other hat as an opera singer, uh, yeah, I've sung with Pacific Opera, Victoria, Vancouver Opera, Edmonton Opera, Calgary Opera, and I am the greatest opera singer in the history of vaudeville, having done 24 seasons with the Frantic Follies in Whitehorse. Shameless plug. But what I've learned is one has to learn to blow one's own trumpet, and I am a trumpet player, so, and I learned as a trumpet player, if you're going to make a mistake, like say when I came in to, uh, to film this uh, thing, uh, your person out front said, so, are you going to sing for us? And I made an ass of myself and said, no, I will not, and then, and then all heaven broke loose, and it seems I'm on a roll, but, but seriously, folks, let's bring it down a bit. And uh, so, Jack, how do you like me so far, as we say in show business? I like that You're answer. You're great. I like that answer. <laughs> You'll be great. You'll be small. But, but anyway, but back to this noise. I frickin' had it with all frickin' noise in this, in this town, Victoria is not the city in which I grew up. I came here as, as a wee thing with my family, 1959. I've lived all over Greater Victoria, but I've never lived downtown. It has been striking me over the last few months. I've lived in Sanito Bay, Colwood, everywhere. I've been everywhere, man, dude. But, but um, anyway, shh. we need quieter discourse. Noise is toxic. Uh, I have a, a, a page on Facebook, the quiet page, quiet party. In fact, it's so quiet, I'm the only guy who's posted anything so far, which, and that was, so far this page re really sucks. But I do have a platform, and it's like, uh, it's, you know what it is? It's like, it's like this old joke about the old man will, with a high sex drive, and he goes to his doctor and says, hey doc, I got a high sex drive, can you do something about it? And uh, doc says, what? And, uh, yeah, yeah, doc, right now, it's all, it's all in my head. I'd like you to do, I'd like you to lower it if, if you can. So, so everything I know about quiet and silence is, is written in my head. And my initials also are the same as Mother Earth. And 
because this is a show about Mother Earth, right? About progressive politics. And I am actually going back to 1994. I, I, I started a party then, 1994, because I was watching the news or something, and I'll have to edit this uh, as I go. You know, I'm sick and tired of all this BS. And you and I know what BS means, but we can't say the, the thing, right, on, well, we on community family television. Oh, oh, can I say it then? No, but make the point. Oh, okay. You know, so I'm tired, I'm tired of all the BS yeah. that's going on. And uh, so I, in 1994, I actually wrote a manifesto called the Purple with Rage No BS Party. Party. Yeah. And then that's kind of evolved over the years. And uh, hey, do we know about voluntary evolution that we can volunteer to, to evolve at whatever rate we want? Some of us evolve more quickly than others, and then we devolve, and being a, a singer and a joke writer and a vaudevillian, I've learned to parse words. Yeah, I'm, I, I like to call myself a professional performer and an amateur scientist. Um, and now I think I'll plug religion, because I think two taboos in our in our culture, our politics, and our religion, and because I live in a really Christian-dominated community, I'm getting tired of this, and so I brought along uh, my, my resume. And on here is, uh, on this lapel, is a flaming chalice, which is all about uh, Unitarian, Unitarian Universalism. Um, and it's about the universe, uh, well, actually, if you really want to get back to the historical context, uh, it's about uh, Unitarians were once like Christians, but then they broke away in the Council of Nicaea, 300 uh, AD, and the modern cut to the present day. Uh, we, we don't do this, you gotta, you gotta do what, whatever to be saved. We, we, we're already saved. We're universally saved. And... Um, Hmm. So, Jack, you, you do the sound as well as uh, you're like the, the, the boom guy because you move, you move that. Because you see, being a trained actor and singer and observer, I, I've kind of learned to propriocept, which is a concept in Bohm dialogue that I mentioned, uh, we talked about briefly the first time I was here, which is sort of simultaneously uh, listening. Wait. Yes, we wait for it. Two minutes left. Two minutes. So, I've got to do some music. Minutes. Okay. Yes. All right. I thought I had three minutes. No. Oh. I missed the cue. Oh, what cue? You mean that person doing that? Because I saw minute that. Minute and a half. Oh, minute and a half. Okay. So, you know, even opera singers get the blues, and I'm a busker, and this is one of my big hits with, okay. with busking, and here we go. There is a house in the 